Time you're ready, huh? <coughs> I'd like to call the February board meeting of the county board meeting to order. Would you all please rise and recite with me the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody here this morning. Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Sir. Chittick. Here. Farnham. Lorenzen. Here. Ludington. I'm here. Patrick. Here. Bruner. Here. And Boyd. Present. Next uh, order of business, uh, you've received, board members, the official minutes of our January 10th meeting, 2018. I've had a chance to look at that. I'd entertain a motion to approve those minutes as presented. So Derek moves. Second. Andy seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. <coughs> Thank you, gentlemen. It's, they are approved or accepted. Claims against the county. Likewise, you've received those. Are there questions of department heads, elected officials, or questions in general? Otherwise, I'd entertain a motion to approve the claims against the county. So moved. Derek moves. Sorry. Dan seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, they are approved. County board member claims. You've received those. Are there any questions on those? I'd accept a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Derek moves. Dan seconds. Uh, anybody else uh, have any discussion or any board members' discussion on those? If not, I assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. They are approved. <coughs> now we come to the point in the meeting where we ask for public comment. We ask that you limit your comments to five minutes and I am asking is there anybody who wishes to address the board meeting thank you mr. chairman good morning my name is Robert Bogue citizen of the United States of America a veteran of the United States Army and a resident of Baker County I just had a few things I wanted to share with you this morning. I wanted to thank Huggy uh, Griffin for responding to a FOIA request. His staff, Tom Tuttle and others that may have been helpful with that. Very prompt, very professional. And uh, I appreciate when that happens. I sent that information on to the uh, federal government. The uh, other thing I wanted to talk briefly about is the Airport Advisory Board. Uh, I believe that Joe Shiner and Rich Wilkins and others that are serving on that board are doing a fine job. The, uh, contrary to what some people seem to think, myself and the Bogue family support aviation. My son brought aviation, a new chapter in aviation to Bear County, he was successful at the airport, doing great things for the airport. And uh, the airport presently had a a car show this last fall. They've got other things planned. I support the Edgar County Airport, but I don't support any bullying or any lawlessness, any violations of Illinois law. So I want to be clear on that point. Um, we still have a couple of people in our county, residents of our county, that refuse to take their polygraph regarding a fire bombing of those two aircraft at the airport. As far as funding on your grant, just my opinion, but I don't think you're going to see it until you zone your the county, the land in this county. That's my opinion. What do I got this morning, guys? Maybe more next time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bo. Mr. Allen. Thank you, sir. How's everybody doing this morning? Fine. <coughs> Stranger. Which is fine. <laughs> um, no offense. Chairman, we, we spoke briefly on the uh, rides mass transit issue. Um, I think they're up to their, I don't know, third amended complaint or whatever it is. They've amended it over and over as it keeps getting thrown out. Um, 
Um, they filed another amended complaint. I would urge to have the insurance company that's handling that set up a time to brief you guys on some things or ask some questions. I understand state attorneys hands off not getting involved, but there's critical information that they did not include in their last brief in your defense that is rock solid from Clark County that's critical to it. And I know for whatever reason Mark doesn't want to go look at that, but it is evidence that helps support you guys. And we'll be writing about it, we'll be sharing it, but have your insurance company take a hard look at that because there's a big element that they're trying to avoid. I still don't think they're going to win. They're now saying you have a contract with them. I don't know if this board's ever passed a contract with Rides Mass Transit. So, uh, But anyway, they have filed a new one and they're in whatever round number it is. You have anything for me? No, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Are there any other uh, comments or public statements that wish to be made? Hearing none, we'll proceed with the meeting. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, highway, uh, we have <coughs> eight resolutions, and I wondered if the uh, highway engineer might just kind of synopsize what we're, we're going to proceed as in clumps, and then we could do it, or however you think, so the audience knows <coughs> what we're doing. Is that possible? Does it kick off or as we go? Yeah, kick off. Does of, it kick well, off? Uh, the first one is just a federal local agency resolution, or it's a resolution to move into a federal agreement for Prairie's Edge. Uh, you guys have seen the funding split on that three or four years in the making. Second one is uh, just a housekeeping general maintenance resolution. We talked about the fact that the county consolidated the township second payment happened late last month, which uh, prompted us to move forward with our GM. Three through six all have to do with, well, there's one stuck in there. Uh, the safe, HSIP safety uh, memo came out advertising $15 million for a 2020 program. We have two projects buried inside of three through seven. And uh, one, one location is uh, Sulphur Springs Road. The other location is Target Shoulders on the lower Terre Haute Road, uh, bottom of super elevated shoulders. And finally, the last one is a resolution. It's a housekeeping uh, to, to uh, finance a portion of a semi-tractor trailer purchase. <coughs> so while there seems to be a lot, three through six or so there, all have to do with safety. And preparing ourselves to ask for federal safety dollars. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that fair? I so just I, 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 I'll make a comment. The, fir the first one you're going to look at is a, a federal local agency agreement to uh, fund the Prairie's Edge project. Okay, number one, resolution authorizing the county board chairman to sign BLR 05310 LA Fed Joint <coughs> Participation Agreement. Do I hear a motion to approve that resolution, please? Move. Derek moves, Sorry. Dan seconds. Further discussion? Would you please call the roll, Augie? Chittick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner. Yes. 5-0. 5-0. Does carry. Next is 2018 County Maintenance Resolution BLR 14-220, appropriating funds from the County Motor Fuel Tax Allotment for the maintenance of county highways for the period of 1-1-18, ending 12-1-18, which you have discussed since we got that second allotment. Yes. Entertain a motion to approve. John moves. <coughs> uh, Flood seconds. Phil, I mean. That's okay. All right. <laughs> I'll fumble around and get the right name. It's like <coughs> talking to my kids. I go through. Never mind. That's what I mean. <laughs> Would you please call the roll? Chittick. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. And Bruner. Yes. Does carry 5 0. Next, we have resolution for improvement. BLR 09110 appropriating motor fuel tax funds for the following HSIP CH4 Lower Terre Haute Road Shoulders. Jeff, if I, if I may, three, four, three, four, five, or lower T. So on three, you're going to appropriate, I don't know, thirty, forty thousand dollars, just a just generic amount towards uh, 
the SP project, if you look at the very end of that, that's 18 SP. So you're going to, you're going to, I'm asking the board if they'll appropriate some dollars towards seeking money for that section. That's for the targeted shoulders. And number four, then you're going to enter into an agreement with Cummins Engineering for like a $6,000 uh, mini RSA to look at that to, again, position yourself for dollars. And number five, we already decided together to uh, fund in 2022 or something like that. It's on our federal program a PP project, which is a, a resurfacing. This is all from Elbridge to Walmart, and our hope, collective hope, is to not only get safety money to improve shoulders, but to also, it, it, by chance, be able to fund a target safety shoulder improvement along with a resurfacing of the roadway. That's what three, four, and five are. If you have questions, if you go through those, please let me know. I assume the plan is to, for the actual work to combine it that would so be you're doing the shoulders and the paving all in one. That's all. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're real early. We're appropriating money for the first time. You guys are showing interest in the sure. project. We're going to do a little preliminary engineering, and hopefully in three or four years we can have some brick and work. Okay. Um, so do I have a motion to approve so resolution moved. BLR 09110? So moved. Dan? Second. Phil? Working my way up. There you go. Sure. It was his fault. Right. Uh, any further discussion? Questions? Mr. S uh, Clerk, please call the roll. Chick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Luddy? Yes. Patrick? Yes. And Bruner? Yes. Carries 5 0. Resolution authorizing County Board Chairman to sign BLR. 05510 local agency consulting agreement with Cummings Engineering as previously described by the county engineer. Do I hear a motion to approve that resolution? So moved. Derek moves. Second. Andy seconds. Further discussion? I have one comment. Uh, this, this will also, uh, we will ask the sheriff to participate in a mini roadside safety audit. So. The board encourage the sheriff to participate in that. That's also something that goes into the safety project. A quick question about that, Aaron. So, Cummins, we talked about that. They do the, they're integral with the safety yes. study. So, and the shoulders are tied into that same piece. Is that right? Or is that that's more correct. Guard this, is, this is SP. You guys are working <coughs> on the shoulders right now. And this one, and, and this one you're authorizing uh, me, or, yes, no, the board chairman, to enter into an agreement with Cummins. I think it's 6500 bucks. What they'll do is they'll come over, they'll get Jeff and I together, and we'll go out and do a mini roadside safety audit. Sometimes they include state police as well, but I'm hoping, since this is a mini, that just the local agencies can, can suffice. And so that basically allows us to get the shoulder project, correct? This allows you to ask for money at the March deadline. You're positioning yourself to have a, a project to, uh, to submit in March. We've got now until the end of March to get this ready and submitted to IDOT and, and seek dollars for federal FY20. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Yeah. Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Chick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. That's carry 5 0. Thank you. <coughs> Resolution for the improvement of BLR. 09110 appropriating motor fuel tax for the following uh, SAS 672 Sulphur Springs Road. You're giving it a name, you're not going to appropriate any money for engineering or anything right here. You're just you're basically setting up the I'm sorry. What was that all you skip one? Skip one. No, well, that's all right. We'll pass and then we'll go back to the other one. Well, could you Which one did we miss? We did he did four and one two. Yes. You read two of them together. Yeah. All right. Just to reset. Just read five. Read five. Read five. Read five. Okay, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up to the. I'm still up here. Okay, I'm here and I can hear you. This isn't always really easy. Okay. It's the engineer's fault. We got too much. To, no. All right, I'm going to back up, and we're going to cover the one, number five, that, uh, that I checked off erroneously that deals with the Lower Terre Haute Road Federal Pavement Preservation Project. I need a motion on that. Okay? Dan moves. Andy seconds. Now, is there a further discussion? 
Would you call the roll on that one? I'd be glad to. <laughs> Chittick. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Now we'll move back to six, where we already have a motion to approve and a second. Correct? Don't we? We do not have that yet? Yes. All right. Can we have a motion to approve <coughs> number six on uh, Sulphur uh, Springs Road? So moved. John moves. Phil seconds. And <laughs> these are important that you actually get the right second. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Signing that I it's actually Andy. I just did that to wake Phil up. Okay. Are, is there further discussions on on sulfur spring? This this stuff is very important, so I should give it the due. Go ahead and call the roll at number six. Chittick. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. And Bruner. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Resolution authorizing County Board Chairman to sign BLR 5510 Local Agency Consultant Agreement with Cummins Engineering for Preliminary Engineering uh, FAS 7, or 672 Sulphur Springs Road. I just have a comment on this one Please. before we get to it. That's I grew up in that neighborhood and yesterday going through, I talked to several of the landowners would be involved in the project and live near there and they're all in favor of it you know it's a that's a stretch of road that everybody knows could use some help cool so. I'm glad you did that that's great because i know you were concerned about it we all were yes all right would you call the roll on that one then just please? real quick aaron is that the desk question now or should i all right go ahead please um that same, do we have to do the same safety survey for that one as well? It's not quite the same. We won't do a mini RSA. I don't want to get too long-winded here. The the, uh, the Sulphur Springs Road location has several accidents that basically can stand alone. And the state central office actually identified this section rather than us. So on lower T, we're saying we want you to take a close look at this and we're trying to make a case for shoulders, whereas on a Sulphur Springs Road, the accidents speak for themselves. Thank you. A motion on the uh, Cummins Consulting then? Sure. So Derek moves, sure. Dan seconds. Further discussion? Please call the rule. Chittick. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. And Bruner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It does carry. Resolution authorizing the county engineer to purchase equipment with financing for prospect from Prospect Bank and sign any financing documents required. So moved. Second. Andy seconds. That was Derek Moves, Andy seconds. Any further discussion as we discussed yesterday morning? Okay, would you please call the roll? Chittick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Maroon? Yes. Those carry. Thank you, Mr. Yes. Engineer. Thank you, guys. Okay, Augie, we next item up is the voting, voting centers for 2018. It's your show. Um, no changes, so we just need to get formal approval to uh, have our voting centers be voting centers. Any housekeeping, questions? just housekeeping. There's no, nothing new there. Any <coughs> questions? I'd entertain a motion to approve this resolution. Andy moves. John seconds. Is you ready? Okay. Chittick. Yes. Lorenzo. Lut Ludding. Yes. Uh, Bruner. Yes. Did I miss somebody? Did anybody know? Guy in blue. Patrick. Mr. Patrick. This is uh, <coughs> Andy Patrick right here. <laughs> There's only one. Thank God. That does carry. Thank you. Next, we have a resolution that IMRF has asked us to uh, execute, which formalizes what we've been doing for the last couple of years, uh, which is when we pay uh, the Opt out for insurance, and more recently the uh, $600 to people taking the PPO, that that counts towards their IMRF 
and it's run through payroll. Okay, so we need a resolution in order to execute General Memorandum 672 for IMRF that allows them to recognize that. It's more of a formality. Do you have anything else to say to that, Augie? No, the uh, IMRF, they, they had their own board meeting with an official resolution, so we're just following in their footsteps. It memorializes everything we're, we're doing. Okay. Is the health savings plan also? Or? No, that is covered. We checked twice with the, uh, the accountants, and that is covered by its own law. Okay. I entertain a motion to approve this resolution. So moved. Dan moves. Sorry. Phil seconds. Legitimately. Uh, any further questions? All had, would you call the roll, please? Chick? Yes. Lorenzo? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruna? Yes. I wish somebody would have said that. I'm going to look at four. <laughs> okay, number 11, resolution calling for the Comptroller and General Assembly to protect availability of audit meeting standards for the units of gov local government. In other words, uh, you know that legislation has been uh, passed to try to clarify the position on whether you should use accrual or cash. This, if this we're supporting a resolution which we discussed, I think, two study sessions ago that basically says that the local governments can choose cash or accrual. Currently, there being, everybody is being herded into accrual. Okay? So it's just something that the Illinois Association of Counties has asked us to support. So, Does everyone understand what accrual involves? Well, that's... Well, I don't know. Um, you want me to give an accounting lesson here today? Harder to hide things. Harder to hide things. I know. Well, it, it is right up to, in other words, you take a picture right this second. It shows all the money that you're obligated to pay and all the money you're obligated to receive at any it's moment. like the state says, I owe you some money and the events of your You can look at that and see what the state owes you. You can see what tax money, uh, anything. Okay. As of that moment, and under cash, you only record it when it comes in and does not recognize uh, anybody owing you or you owing anybody. Which is really more of a formality because the state is always paid on time, okay. every time. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. So, but can this I? This resolution miss. is purely to be supporting a recommendation. And a a legislative initiative, yeah, yes. To let a local government choose which type of accounting they would like to, to choose. Okay. So, Dan, yep. are you moving? Okay, he moves. Do we have a second? Still breathing at least. Second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you call the uh, roll when you have a chance? No input from the treasurer? No, I threw a pencil at Derek for a rude comment. That's what that sound was. Right. Chittick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Okay, the next item. Uh, in January, we tabled an ordinance to adopt policy prohibiting sexual harassment in approved said organs. Now, that makes it sound like we already had a, a policy on sexual harassment. The state came up with additional things that we needed to do, and the Illinois Association of Counties came up with their legal team came up with recommendations on how we could update that policy to make sure it covered the new electronics, uh, provisions on fining, uh, all whistle, kinds of whistleblower. Whistle, whistleblower, basically to protect and update to the society we now live in. We had some questions, so it was tabled. So that kind of brings us up to date. I'd accept a motion to uh, bring that a resolution off the table. So I, can, I cannot. We cannot discuss the motion to come off the table. So, 
Second. Second, Phil? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's call the roll on this. Chick? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. And Bruner? Yes. So it is now off the table. We have discussed this for the last three study <coughs> sessions. I think we have a resolution that Augie has taken to the state's attorney, a resolution to some of the issues we had. And if you'd like to discuss those, Augie, so everybody knows what the state's attorney had to say. Yeah, the, uh, the question from yesterday involved the word may or shall. And on page two down at the bottom, the first may will be shall. Then in the next sentence, it says, additionally, the employer may uh, collect information. Uh, the state's attorney suggests that we leave that one as a may instead of changing that one to shall. Do you have so, any reasoning behind that? I mean, well, that's not what I was thinking about. I was just curious what you Yeah, um, since the employer shall uh, uh, maintain written documents, um, it, it's sort of uh, overkill, if you will, because additionally the employer may do this, that, and the other, which most likely will include what the, the employer shall be doing to begin with. Uh, that, that, that's the best I can explain. It, it was almost too restrictive. It was, yeah. it was fencing us in. And if we miss something, yeah. you know, then that became problematic. We need to determine what what we shall collect, and what and it sh we shall whatever we collect we shall keep. Right. Okay? And we shall keep those written documents in each of the personnel files <coughs> of the parties involved in the incident. Okay, so that was the other question that we had. Right. Now, further... Subject to state law. Sorry. Sure. Additionally, once you pass this resolution, we'll be looking at further at uh, making sure that this addresses all the concerns. I mean, we will be reviewing this to see on a constant basis to make sure there aren't other remedies that might help strengthen this policy in in the immediate future okay all right yeah and i for the audience i'd just like to clarify the the policy is the state has it has you know a set chain of command in our county doesn't <coughs> necessarily you know there's not three and four levels in every office so we're just trying to juggle how to report things and follow it up it, makes it a little more complicated to come up with a good system. But the main goal all the time is to protect our employees. Sure. Okay. Do I have a motion to, uh, with these small changes, they're not small, but they're small in uh, number, uh, changes to approve this resolution, a motion? So moved. Derek moves. Second. Dan, you got in there just under the wire. Dan seconds. Further discussion? Um, yes, so sir. the piece about the records being kept in the individual individual's file at work, is that laid out here? Is that a policy? Is that something we're going to be able that, to maintain? That is laid out. I have the, the actual hot off the press <coughs> revised copy here. The, uh, page two is just a sentence that was okay. added okay. right after we discussed the may and the shall thing. All documentation shall be placed in the personnel files of the parties involved in the incident and shall be protected to the extent of the law. Would you call the roll, please? Certainly. Chittick? Yes. Lorenzo? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. And Bruner? Yes. All right, we come to the time of the meeting where we uh, ask department heads and elected officials to report on items. Don, sir? Uh, the audit started yesterday. 
so do not be surprised if you if you haven't already been scheduled to have a conversation with the auditors regarding your internal uh, audits. Uh, I think the circuit clerk has a special audit, don't you, that they do for you and things like that. So just be aware of it. Try to work them in. Um, on the report that I gave you, I know everybody's question there on the very top line of the current balance is why is it so much higher than the prior month? Well, mainly because we have not received many state payments yet this month, and also because both payrolls have hit. Those prior years, one, two, and three, were early enough in the month where only one payroll had hit. So that makes a, about an $85,000 difference. You start crunching <coughs> some numbers here, uh, it would be down into the 870, 80 range, negative, but that would be there. Um, I don't, is there any questions? And I, before I move on, I just want to, you know, the traditional where the teacher walks into the classroom and finds an apple on their desk. I found this beautiful kiss on my desk that says, from all the taxpayers of Edgar County, we love you. I, I normally don't take gifts, but I, I can't refuse this. And that I, wasn't on Dina's desk. They no, that's what I was say. Dina, did you get one? I, 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 I am willing to share this with you, but I, I, just, I just want to thank the Edgar County taxpayers. <laughs> It's beautiful writing, too. I would like to add a little bit, and I'll probably be saying this for several meetings so that everybody is aware of this. Moving to the accrual system. Last year's budget, just to give you an example, most of the departments will be over because payroll, the last payroll of the month in November included nine... Uh, no, the first payroll in December included nine days in November, which our, our fiscal year changes as of December 1st. So basically all the departments got nine extra days or basically 27 payrolls in last year. Under a normal year, at the beginning of last year, they would have uh, only had one day or two day charged. So once we go through the entire year, and it went for other expenses also, if they had uh, acquired and committed to certain expenses that would have been charged to last year, even though it was paid for in December. So some of the budgets, most of the budgets will look skewed because of the way we're converting the accounting system. And I want everybody to understand so they, they don't look down on these office or department holders because of the way we've done the accounting system. From here on out, it will all even out. But the first exchange period is going to cause some issues with the way the budget looks. Okay? Did I? So I will repeat that several times so everybody understands and so they they understand the department budgets and the way they may turn out in the audit, okay? Because what he is saying is going to show up in this financial report. Right. And a negative balance usually shows up parentheses around it, so do not be surprised. I'm, I just gave you one of the larger reasons why that's uh, going to happen. Okay, thanks, Don. Do you have anything else? No, I'm, I'm just going to enjoy my chocolate today. <laughs> swell my chest up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Aaron, you've done all the damage to me you can do this morning. Thank you. Nicole and Eric, nice to see you. Do you have anything? I will be talking to you once we get everything squared away. I appreciate the calls. Um, our EMT basic class that started in September. Um, it's our ninth class we've done. Finished up um, last week. Two weeks ago, they took their written exam, the entire class passed on the first attempt, and um, they have their skills exam coming up on the 24th, and then they all have a national registry written exam that they can schedule at any point in time, so we should have 
a whole slew of new EMT basics that came out of this class sitting in the streets before too long. Um, the, everybody that we started with in this class finished the class. So, um, and we have two employees that completed their paramedic program in December. One just got um, his license yesterday. So we have a new paramedic on the roster too that's been with our employees. And we'll have another one um, hopefully by the end of the month. So. This year also marks, um, I realized yesterday, this year marks our 15th anniversary, so WCSSA, so we'll have something going on later. Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, on, a, on a basis, like every so many months, that it would be a good idea for you and the sheriff to get together and review um, priorities, I, what do they call them when, you know, <clears throat> protocol, to review protocol to make sure that everybody is on the same page as far as who to call, what to call, all that, all that stuff, just to review it on a, on a periodic basis to make sure that, because I know like you and I, Eric talked about uh, the air evac and, right. and some of the other things, just to make sure that everything that we're doing matches up with what you think you're, we're doing and vice versa so that we can have better communications. Okay? We'd sure appreciate it. So, thank you. Jill? Um, we set the date for our exercise. It's May 10th, um, which is a Thursday. Um, it's going to be um, active shooter drill. Um, Mike Hennis is kind of leading it this year. Um, we also got our EOC grant money. Well, we don't have it yet, but we are um, in the process of getting our phones. Um, so within about 30 days, we should have those installed all the ESDA. So that's probably that's about it. You would have got a kick yesterday morning. Uh, I said, talked about the drill. Thank goodness mm -hmm. Jeff was here. I called it a live fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. He was up for it, but you know. <laughs> Any questions of Jill? We're also got a guy coming in to, to door. yeah, door and, and insulation, okay, yes. so we can get that solved. Hi, Janet. Hello. Good How's morning. the health department? Doing well. Um, very busy. Uh, dental clinic, literally just overwhelmed. Um, our health department, having the dental clinic is a very rare thing. Um, most health departments in the state of Illinois do not have dental clinics, therefore our caseload is, is just overwhelming, um, but I have a great staff uh, throughout the entire department, and so we keep muddling on, and everything's going well. I don't think a week goes by with somebody not mentioning that up in somewhere or another about how, you know, recommending that, or they've been there, or something yeah. like that, and it's always very positive, Janet. Thank you. Dina? Well, I did not get chocolate. <laughs> the villagers are angry. We haven't had torches or pitchforks yet, but they're hanging in there. The, the ugliest thing has been Jasper Street, and I actually did bring copies of a spreadsheet we created of everything that's sold on Jasper Street, what their lot size is, what they paid for it, when they bought it, if anyone's interested. But I know that's been the coffee shop talk, is, is Jasper Street. It increased drastically. We're not looking at, at percentage of what it increased. We're looking at sales and what a market value of a property on Jasper Street could possibly bring. So um, most people are seeing around a 5% increase. It's market. And we look at market value in 2013 when we were coming out of the slump in 9, 10, the market, the market, housing market fell out. 13, we began to slowly recover. And now 17, we've seen sales recover uh, a lot of increases on lakefront properties because that's been a very hot commodity. People are always looking for a lakefront property, especially millennials. They want a new home. They want it on the lake. So we're hanging in there. We, we're in the complaint period, and that goes till March 12th. So it'll be a long couple weeks. To that end, I'd like to commend you, Dina, for coming in on Monday, which was a state holiday, knowing that there would be issues and frustrations possibly and that people would need answers and so you were there uh, to do your best to answer their questions and answer the phone calls or our personal visits and we all appreciate that 
Any questions of Dina? Sheriff? Knows how to work her panic button. Uh, got a crash course on that. Got a couple of new cars ordered. And other than that, not much going on over there. Population's down in Gims. Okay. That's about it. Any questions of the sheriff? Tom? We're eagerly anticipating the arrival of our new Beacon Light, which is a week overdue. Our contractor's trying to figure out where it is. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Hi, Angie. How are you doing? Good. Just moving right along. Nothing out of the ordinary going on. Bob's done a bunch of rearranging. We've done a, and we've been trying to make more room in the office. But other than that, we're just hanging in there. Thank you. Any questions of Angie and the circuit clerk's office? Monty, how's probation? Uh, probation's moving right along. I was with lots of court reports, and uh, as I'm sure Don was uh, wanted to highlight, but he was distracted. You know, several, like more than two, payments came in since the last board meeting. So we didn't uh, want to steal your thunder, Monty. I appreciate that. Yeah, I didn't say anything either. Still we were a just behind, waiting. but but several payments did arrive in the last thirty days. So we're we're you know slowly inching along there. We're officially paid up through June of 2017, which is the state's fiscal year. Seven, That's yeah. one way of looking at it. The other way is several payments came in. <laughs> Look at it. Okay. Everything else okay? Is your physical uh, plant now in order and functional? Doing great. Okay. Very good. Augie? We have started early voting last Thursday. Uh, so far we have 10 early voters. Um, we anticipate a low turnout because locally uh, there's no opposition. Uh, races are unopposed. Um, but there are some uh, contested races uh, higher up at the state level. And but we, <coughs> we prepared just exactly the same, whether we're going to have a heavy turnout or a low turnout. The equipment all has to be checked and maintained, and ballots have to be ordered, and uh, certain notices have to be published on the paper <coughs> and on the website. So we're busy doing that. And other than that, Questions for me? Thank you, Augie. Ned, it's good to see you. Anything new? And me? No. How's the, uh, well, let's see, the, we have a centennial, or what do we got? The uh, I've received one communication from the state on that. <laughs> How about that? And uh, so if, if they're excited about it, uh, it hasn't shown too much yet. No. All right. Thank you. Nice to see you. Gentlemen, Dan, do you have a, a uh, report? Not much. Andrea had her uh, knee surgery last of January. So she's anxious to get back to work, but she has a restriction. She can't be around animals, so she's trying to get that changed. Might be a problem. Then <laughs> <laughs> is doing an excellent job. I talked with her the other day. So. And she's, you've been checking on her, make sure she's help-wise okay. Yeah, did she get her insurance there? He says yes. Yeah. Because he, he really wasn't aware of it. So. Yeah, she mentioned to me that there was some problems. So, okay, need to get that figured out. No, thanks. Well, it's good that we show that we care. Yeah. Right. And that we make sure that Linda is not overwhelmed. Yeah, going, so. yeah. Andy? Um, among other things, we we had a I had a company come in yesterday did an energy audit on a lot of the county buildings. <clears throat> it's a company that is one of I don't know, a dozen companies that is uh, that the state of Illinois has approved 
to come through and do an energy audit on uh, on buildings, uh, public buildings in the state of Illinois, and they came in and did an audit on the uh, courthouse, the jail. I think they stopped by the health department, the airport, <coughs> uh, and basically what they do is they they come in. I was approached by this company. They come in, do an audit of all lights, heating, air conditioning, and come back with a, a suggestion about what you can do uh, to improve your energy efficiency. And <coughs> the nice thing about it is it's whatever suggestion they make, it has to be budget neutral. You, they, they kind of set up a financing plan if you decide to go with it. and set up a term like 8, 10, 12 years. He said he doesn't like to go much beyond 15. And basically whatever they suggest, you will pay for itself over the amount of time that they they tell you it will. So for example, if they say it's 12 years, it will pay for itself in at least 12 years. And it, um, basically it, it, if it doesn't, if they make suggestions and it doesn't pan out, then they, the company, has to match whatever the difference is. So it, to me, it's kind of a no-brainer and a win-win for us. So uh, I talked to him yesterday at the end of the day, and they, after they had done these uh, audit or engineers and looked at things, and he said it'll be uh, three to five weeks he'll get back with me and let us know what his suggestions are. So I'll let you know what I find out. Thank you, Andy. Phil? Oh. John? I have nothing. Derek? I'm log on to my computer and get on the FedEx tracker for our beacon. But I don't know. Uh, budget is, we've got about 25% of the year gone. Budget's at 18%. So, onward and upward. We've already talked about the accountants and some of the issues that. <coughs> are involved with this year that are a little different than last year. So we'll do the best we can as soon as we get some information to keep you updated. Do we have anything else to come? I don't think there is a need for a closed session unless somebody has one. All right. Augie, do we have anything else that I've missed other than um, getting stuff out of order? Nothing that you missed, but I want to remind uh, the board to fill out your ethics statements, the yellow papers, if you haven't already, and get those turned back into us as quickly as you can, please. So if you don't possess any, you just put zero. You have no ethics, you have to sign it if you have no ethics. All right, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Derek moves, is there a second? Second. John seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody.